I played a lot of Reynas and I've watched a lot of people using Reynas. And I thought about the stuff that I haven't been seeing from you guys. And I want to teach you. I want to teach you what you might not be doing, what you might not know about Reyna. What you might want to use more. Like, for example, you know, 442 has got crazy range. Even from all the way, even from all the way back here, you can land it really, really quickly. And what I'm doing there, if you rewind it, is I'm doing a dash forward, and then I'm doing a crouch dash. And then from crouch dash, you can do forward forward moves easily by just pressing one forward. So crouch dash, and press one forward and hold it. So, and your 442 will come out. Did you guys know that? Did you guys know that crouch dashing forward does a forward forward move? This is a thing for all characters too. It's a thing for all characters. So if you have a crouch dash and you want to do a forward forward move from crouch dash, yes, you can get that forward forward shortcut. And you can do it like you can do it out of that. You can even you can even shortcut the running moves. If you crouch dash and do two forwards, you'll get the running shortcut. And it's kind of tricky because sometimes if you're trying to do running four, you might get the running. If you want to do forward four, you might get the running four. So if I want to, if I want to do crouch dash forward four, I just go to back afterwards. But anyways, yeah, from all the way back here, you can get a super long range forward forward two by combining tricks, starting with a dash into a crouch dash. So. You know, if you want to learn how to do that, you break it up into a couple steps. You just do, you just do. If you don't know how to do crouch dash really well, or you want, if you want to learn how to do the crouch dash or the forward move, you just practice that part. You practice that part, and then from there, you might want to dash into crouch dash, dash crouch dash, dash crouch dash, crouch dash four two to get that, and then you put it together. So from all the way back here, dash crouch dash, bomb. So if you know the ranges at what. At what ranges, which technique, because I know from here I won't need to do the crouch, I won't need to do the dash into the crouch dash. From here I could just do a super long dash. You know, forward, forward. You can you can do it quickly and not dash much. You know, that's about as fast as you can do it when you're up close. But you can drag out the dash and hold the forward and get a super long range version. And that's another little thing to note. So all the way from back here, you can do you can put it all together. That's even over. That's that's overkill on the range. Maybe if back here, you know, you never know. All the way back there. So like, that's a really good idea. That's a really good way to trick your opponent into thinking that they're safe, so that they might be sidestepping from this range, moving around, and then all of a sudden you just like surprise, bitch. It's a little bit more advanced. I think all the stuff that uh, I'll teach you in this lesson will be a little bit more advanced because in my Reina tutorial, I was basically just saying, hey, just do 442, just do 442. And I see I see y'all doing it. I see you guys doing 442, it's great. But if you ever wanted to step it up and learn how to do it from, or learn how to make it effective, really, really make it effective by making it a threat from far away range. That's one trick you can do. Do a longer dash, very simple. You can do crouch dash into it. So basically you can do crouch dash into long dash into it, which really extends the range. So if you're really far back, remember there's dash, crouch dash, into the long dash. Dash, crouch dash, I suck. <laughs> dash, crouch dash, long dash. You get the point. And you guys of course know once you land the 442 and you spin, if you hit, this is going to be guaranteed, the 3 option. The 4 is really good for getting plus frames, plus 4, which means that this move is not going to be interruptible by any attacks. So, I'll do... If they block the 442, for example... You can do something like this, and then jab check. You can do something like this, and then do this to check for moving. The jabs is good for checking uh, them for trying to slice them. The up. The 4-1 is good for checking them for trying to attack. And if you think they're going to do nothing, you know, why not just let a hell sweep rock? 
I like the 442 into the mid for people who try to duck the high kick. You know, and sometimes it might be frustrating getting people trying to duck the high kick, so that's when I like to run the two option. The two option. Well, that's basically advanced 442 in a nutshell. Um, speaking of which, speaking of the dash, crouch dash, it's a good way to extend not only your 442s, but just your electrics in general. You know? Back in the days, like, this was like the next level of doing electrics. So you can stand there and do electrics, right? You can stand there and do electrics. You can sidestep, do electrics. That's cool, but you can get a super long electric by dashing. Dash electrics. I think it's the hardest electric to do outside of the perfect electric. You know, there's an abbreviation back in the old, old days where, you know, there was EWGF for electric, but then there was DEWGF for dash electrics. And that's a really good thing to do. You just want to do dash electrics to increase the range. And just like that, you can also get dash hell sweep. You know, you don't need to be this closely. If you do hell sweep from this range, you might whiff it. You might whiff it. You might whip it from here, and if your opponent blocks that punch, you're dead. But all the way back here, you can get more range on the uh, the sweep just by dashing. So remember, if even from here when you're far back here, you can make your moves a threat by dashing, doing a deep dash, dashing and a crouch dash, and that's how you use movement to kind of like mask what you want to do. You see me doing a dash electric a lot in combos. Let's say I jabbed a bunch. Let's say I jabbed a bunch. One, two, three, four, five. Electric's gonna whip there, but if you dash electric, you might get it. Not that that's a combo I'm gonna be doing. <laughs> but. You guys get the you guys get the message. It's just fun to try. It's just fun to try. When's the best time you use electrics? Anytime you want. Anytime that you know it's gonna connect, whether it's blocked or hit. So if you wanna just do an electric from here, make sure you dash into it. And if you're close, of course you don't need to dash. And that's one way to make like your crouch dash moves a little bit more effective. I'm able to get a lot of health sweeps off because I just sneak it in from far ranges. I don't have to be in their face. I don't have to be all the way up close. Like I know just by reading their movement and being keeping a good space that I can do it from back here and they'll never see it coming, you know? Dashing forward is just scares people because if you can dash into electric, <coughs> there's not a lot that they can do by the time that they see you dashing to, to beat you out. And they're taking such a big risk to try to interrupt the electric you know how fast that electric is so once you establish dashing up and doing electrics in their face like that they're really gonna chill out so you can dash up and do the sweep you can dash up and do the overhead kick that i taught you in a in some other lesson that punishes people for crouching right um yeah i hope that helps as well there's one thing that I see nobody really use, which is this move right here from the Heaven's Wrath. Bop, bop. If you, if you notice, this is also a move that you can go into the stance on. If you don't go into the stance, the frame advantage is pretty good. But if you do go into the stance, the frame advantage is a little bit more. And um, one of my favorite things to do afterwards is just grab them afterwards. It's really, really good by the wall. So let's say you do a Hell Sweep. And then you got him by the wall. From here, you might be able to do a grab right off the bat. Actually, stand and approach. Let's say the hell sweep after you hit him, you're not, they're not close to the wall. And you know they're gonna guard. You know they're gonna guard, they're gonna dash back. Sometimes if you do this into the two, they dash back afterwards and like um, it makes a lot of options whip. That's why this option is really strong. You get you still get to keep your turn. They might try to crouch, like you get more frames, and then you can throw them from there. So you see me doing that a lot. I never see Rainus try it. Just whenever, I guess the the reason why you guys don't try it is because it's hard to transition into this dance a lot. 
So, you know, one, this is one of the primary ways to get into the Wrath. Another way, of course, is to do Heat Smash. They block the Heat Smash. You do this. And you actually don't need to do this after Heat Smash, honestly. Because you're already kind of in their face. So you, when, you, when they block the Heat Smash, you can kind of already jump into the throw, the low, whatever. By the way, hold down <laughs> to transition into the stance afterwards. After while saying 4-4, there's like the three big ways to get into it. It's while saying 4-4 punish. There's the sweep. And then uh, there's running four. Which is another move that you guys don't really use. <laughs> so try to make sure you get mileage out of this. Because the same rules apply. The same rules will apply as if you were doing this move. You know, you could do this into this. You could do this into this, right? This into this. So this jumping move into the wrath is about as good as all this other stuff. Even better, because at Hell Sweeps, with the answer you're plus six, this is plus eight, so it's a little bit better. Mm. So, if anything, just make sure you try to incorporate this a little bit more. I think you'll like it. It's a little bit hard to use. You might be not comfortable in the start, because it's a lot to input. But you see me doing it a lot when I'm in a match. Last but not least, this running move is really great. You guys do this a lot. Rainers do this a lot. But it's a little bit linear. If they sidestep it, you know, it's it's really easy to get around. But this move right here... I think it's tracking, right? Is that what the icon right above my head means? That blue little... It means that it's tracking. And the best time to get this out is... Uh, after your heat engagers. You, I'm mashing forward, and then I get that out. The cool thing about this is that after your heat engages, you are in the heat state. So if they happen to... If they happen to duck, and they try to punish you for doing it, this is a cool thing. You'll get the auto parry. Yo, you jack, thank you. Let's say they duck afterwards, try to block. They duck it, and then they they can't retaliate because your parry is going to fuck them up. But I like it a lot. I like this a lot. Because you get to be basically in their face in the Heaven's Wrath. So, yeah. Oh, no heat limit. No heat limit. So I don't know what you guys what do you guys like to do? What do you rainers like to do after you do heat engager? Do you ever do running four? No, right? Never. Of course I know you guys run up and do four four spin kick. Yeah, I mean that's a when you do the heat engage, it's a free mix up. So you want to mix them up. And you're not mixing them up if you're not incorporating lows. So you want to time a hell sweep here from time to time. A lot of people are holding back after you do heat engage because they don't want to... They just want to block whatever pressure. They want to get hit with mids. Throwing is good. You're always going to get a free throw attempt. I suggest definitely just sneaking in some hell sweeps. It requires a little bit of timing. But it's going to be a great way to get the most out of your heat engagers. Okay? So add that to your game. And uh, add the running move to your game. Because from there, you can do that. You know, this is just an endless loop of stuff. Bam, bam. You do the running four. You do more of this. Maybe they're blocking. You do more. You can check in with a move afterwards. Bum, bum. You wanna do this? They're by the wall. Okay, you get a free grab attempt. Or sometimes, if you establish enough that you're doing a lot of hell sweeps, sorry, if you establish enough that you're doing hell sweeps, you don't want to mash forward here. You do the four of four. This is always good to check to see if they're crouching, and then you see that they're blocking this more. Then that's when you go ahead and run into 
Sorry. Hell sweep. How do you recognize when the wall standing one instead of four four? It, that just comes down to knowledge on the punishable moves. Yeah, you don't want to just do anything. You, you want to have a really good strategy after you get your heat engages off. So, you know, this is a really good thing I like to use just to keep the pressure up. What if they're fuzzy ducking? If they're fuzzy ducking, they're still gonna have windows where you can kill them for. I see a lot of you guys saying that you're throwing. Definitely, if you wanna keep it simple, which I always recommend that you do, just choose between 4-4 four, four or doing a hell sweep. Just choosing that. Between that and then that. Just keep it simple at first and take take note of what they're doing, what's working, what's not working. Oh, I like to always sweep though. It's a free 50-50. And if you're always doing one option, that's not taking advantage of a 50-50 opportunity. So remember, remember the lesson? 442 is great. If you extend the dash, you can do it from really far away. The difference is if I do it from here, if I just do it really quickly, it's, it shortens the range quite a bit. But if I drag out the dash, you can catch them from those distances. And from even all the way back here, even from all the way back here, crouch dash into it. Really, really, really extends the range. From all the way back here, if you do the maximum dash, it'll still whiff. But the crouch dash, it will help get more out of it. And from super far distances, you can dash, crouch, dash, into dash. I suck. And then uh, you can also reverse back dash. You see that right there? That's another way to do it. I do that a lot with Jack and, and the sledgehammer. Yeah. So this is kind of like back dashing, but in reverse. You know, back dashing is dashing back to crouch and then back dashing. So this is just that it's dashing forward crouching and then from the crouch you can go forward forward really easily that's another one that i forgot to teach you you'll see that a lot as well and if you want an easier version you could do forward forward back forward forward make sense make sense it'll come back it'll come out a little bit shorter all right I'll try to show you guys everything that I just showed you guys. Depending on the range, if I'm trying to hit 4 4 2. There's the sweep. Oh! Right away they crouch. It's important to remember that though. It's because the next round, I'm gonna hit him with my heat engager. And when I hit him with a heat engager, I'm gonna go 4 4. Okay? Nice blocking. Boom. Oh. <laughs> That's interesting. So two things I learned there. Be careful at the end of the round because they might just YOLO rage art. And then maybe after the engager, try a mid. Other than that, Everything's good. Here we go. Try mid. Oh. It worked. It worked in a different way. Here we go. Pop, pop. Uh, another thing I learned is that watch out for them random ass reversals. <laughs> Look at him go with that defense. I waited at the end there because I didn't want to get rage art again. The thing is, if you get YOLO rage art like that, you can be salty, you can be you can be tilted, or you can make something out of it. You know, let's try the kick again. I'm waiting for that reversal. Die. 
I did the two because I knew even after the rage art it would kill. So we saw that coming. We saw it coming. Let's try to kick again and save. So based on my findings, they blocked that first one. Just by pure chance. One thing that you guys do a lot, I was watching and coaching this new play yesterday, is that when he got one low blocked, he was immediately just gave him the credit and was like, oh, fuck. They, they block low, they're gonna block low every time. Like, that's not true. That is not true at all. You can't give these noobs credit, you know? You have to make, make them show you multiple times. I forgot about the rage art, obviously. I hope we get a rematch after this game. Oh, we get a rematch so that we can use what we learn. <laughs> the rage art show you multiple times. Yes, show me multiple times. <laughs> show me three times. But yeah, when you get your first low block or you get your first move punish, especially in these lower ranks, don't be so convinced that they're gonna block you every time for it, right? Watch. This health sweep should be good. Health sweep should be good. Even though they blocked my first one, I didn't care. Reversal, Rage Art. I waited, I took an extra step at the end because we learned our lesson. So now that I reminded him that I'm gonna do a sweep after the engager, now we can kind of mix it up. Let's do the one I showed you guys. All of that, unavoidable. Because of the Heaven's Wrath, uh, Bop bop, you know. Watch out for this. Let's make the rage art out. Throw. Rage art, please. Rage art, please. Oh, they're mad. No rage art. No rage art. <laughs> On that string, you stay crouching. All that stuff's high. I'm feeling the hell sweep after the engage. Oops, I made a mistake. I miss input it. No, they're attacking after my hell sweep into stance, which if you play Reyna, you know what to do. You know what to do. Great job with the commentary yesterday. <laughs> Thank you. What you guys like about the commentary, man? What? Do you have any feedback? If you if you uh you have any suggestions on what i can do to be better when you're running at a heat state make sure you just use it either through a heat dash or a heat smash use something even if you have a little bit left like it doesn't take it doesn't reduce the damage on your heat smash it doesn't make your heat smash less effective so if you have a little bit left and you just and you just like neutral you're moving around you just want to use it put it to good use i got to red hey red breaks yippee with what reina good shit ah oh, yeah 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 it's your first tekken nice the game's been out for like three weeks first tekken got to red ranks there are a lot of people out there who are in worse shape than you. They must not be watching the stream, too. You got a red with Jen tell you you're good? You're fucking trash. Get out of my sight, noob. And don't come back till you're Fujin. Don't come back till you can beat Shadow in a first of five.
I just started with Tekken and hit Tenry with Victor. Good job. You're, good job, buddy. You're so good. You're so great. You're so good. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you guys. All my little red ranks. All my little red ranks are blossoming. I'm so proud of you guys. You got a red yesterday with Kuma? <laughs> Damn, it's fucked up because all you guys that are talking about... For all you guys that are in here talking about red, there's about four people in here that's stuck at strategist. And they're fucking stuck at brawler and cavalry. They're just cavalry, you know? They, they rush into the fight first and they fucking die. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, they ain't saying shit. They, they were gonna be like, yo, I got the cavalry. What do you think about that? But then no, all you guys gotta ruin that shit. This motherfucker's stuck in yellow. There's people still assailants, eliminators. <laughs> hey, look, I'm thinking about you guys. I'm thinking about y'all, man. You see that? Fuck these red rank guys that are flexing their ranks, man. They don't have as much heart as you guys. You fucking warriors. And strategists, assailants, vanquishers, you destroyers out there. Y'all are the real MVPs. I see you combatant. I see you combatant. I see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are the real heroes of Tekken 8. Y'all feed the ecosystem. You know what I mean? When they get the little fish, the big bag of the little fish, and they dump them to the ocean so the big fish can eat them, you guys provide the nutrients, the vitamins, to the big fish. You guys, yes, yes. You guys are the planktons? <laughs> you guys are the seaweed? <laughs> Hell no. Good shit, y'all. Keep at it, man. Keep at it. The coral reefs just doing my job. <laughs> hey, without the plankton and the coral, the motherfucking seaweed, like, there would be no red rank. Are you proud of me, guys? Yes, yes, yes. Technology. <laughs> like I said, noobs are welcome on Saturdays. Noobs are welcome. Get ready for the next battle. Welcome, noobs. <laughs> nah, it's funny because I'm thinking about that. I was like, there's a lot of people that are red rank, but according to statistics, for every red rank in here that's happy as fuck, there's definitely like three or four guys stuck in the fucking <laughs> second Dan, guys. You know what I mean? Anyways. Anyways, I'm supposed to show off the lessons. Long dash, back dash, crouch dash. Ah, uh, oh, into the bop bop. Ah. Uh. Yep. 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 Ow. With Victor, you guys gotta watch out for that damn high power crush. Everybody knows about the running move, but that high power crush bails everybody out. Let's do the running move. Unlimited pressure. Stairs yet, man. I guess I will. We can go all hell sweet from there. So, yep. She doesn't have super powerful low options. But you can go hell sweet from there. You hold down forward and she'll crouch dash. 
Practice it, practice it, practice it. Expulsion! Expulsion! This guy's doing his thing. I haven't really been paying attention. But I guess I will now. Running four? Oh yeah, he's blocking after that. He's just holding back infinitely. So, bomb, bomb. Expulsion? If he does Expulsion and he doesn't have the heat activated, that's a launch. Use it before you lose it. Nice parry, dude. Nice little low parry combo. Okay, okay. Shit! Oh, I could have died there. Alright, let's avoid the running move. If he tries to run in, we'll pop up with any electric. And now he's super hesitant. Now we know he's gonna hold. Oh, fuck. Now we know he's just gonna hold back, so. Yeah. Sneak the lows in. Fuck. I'll wait it out. You hold back all game <laughs> if you're holding back all game you're definitely surviving longer than you normally would if you weren't holding back I just changed my mind when I'm in the character select for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. He's kind of whatever. <laughs> How long until he realizes? <laughs> Jabs OP. OP jabs. Hey, it's my boy Matt, man. I could definitely, I could definitely show off what I taught you guys on Matt, man. <laughs> yeah, thank you for the sub, though. Oh, you had to call it. Hey, what happened? It happens all the time, though. Thank you for the subs, guys. It happens all the time where, um, the longer you play, the worse you get. <laughs> it just, it'd be like that. So you gotta learn how to take those breaks. Ay, 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 I'm dead. It is what it, I also, I loved noob. I love all my noobs. I love teaching noobs. I love watching noobs get good from the teachings, the scrolls. You 
combo. You can launch that. Oh! <laughs> Watch out, dude. All right, anyways. Sweep after the engager. Make sure you guys. <laughs> Make sure you guys don't do that. They get fucked up. I actually used you as an example. I was like, some people, they give people all the credit in the world when the guy blocks one thing. You gotta let him show you a couple times. You gotta let him show you a couple times. If they block one low, I'm not a believer until I see them block it two times, three times, four times, and more. I need to see it to believe it. <laughs> I can teach you what I. Hey, all right, all right. Let, me, let, me, let me pay attention. Mac Man gets better every day, man. Dude gets better every day. Good move on Jack. Good move on Jack. It's really easy to land 4 4 2 on Jack as well. Big ass body. Running 4. Running 4. Oopsie. Sorry, man, man. The chat got you killed. Chat gonna get you fucked up. Chat got you fucked up, man. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh! Running four. And you're running four. From the Heaven's Wrath, you can do, he you can do sweep too. You can crash dash out of it, so. Holy shit! The damage! The damage! Running four from there. Sweet! That's all you gotta do. You used to be a cone hater, but you like the cone now? Yes, welcome. Welcome to the cone cult. If you use that both kicks from Heaven's Wrath though, make sure uh, you, you know you're losing your turn on that. Don't try to swing. Stuck in a certain rank, should you play others to get a betting hang and play style? Sure. Have an alternate character if you want. If you want. Oh, fuck. Oh fuck, this guy's get, this guy's getting better. Uh, he wants to watch my Jack video! Holy shit! <laughs> that felt very Anakin-esque there. I'm just saying, you know how they say Jordan-esque? Yeah. It's like Michael Jordan esque, but better. Please stop owning me. Please stop owning me. <laughs> Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> Alright. Alright, man. 
No more, Mr. Nice Guy. Toxic time. Oh! 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 Please don't hurt me! Watch out, man! This ain't a YouTube video! <laughs> Why you do that? Did I try to win? I see, he's trying to follow the script. He knows he's gonna lose. Oh, what the? That's a whack punish. Mm, no more heat state. Oh! Stop trolling me, man. We need to win. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was a close one. Close one. Get ready 